Hello and welcome to the Power Within podcast. I'm your host, Lori. Today I'm going to do a solo cast. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these and I kind of wanted to just do a reflection uh, podcast. It's It's been quite the year. I know I haven't been as consistent this year about doing the podcast episodes and I intend to work on that a little bit more in this coming year. Uh, already working on trying to get new guests and, um, and, you know, make it a great show. Uh, so this past year has been a year of learning for me. I have stepped extremely out of my comfort zone. I've kind of gotten more in touch with myself and I want to just be honest about all that stuff and share with you guys everything that I've learned this year and things that I found most beneficial. You know, uh, there's times when I could feel myself throughout the year, you know, wanting to close, close myself down or close my heart or, you know, just kind of put myself in that safety mode. And one of the biggest things that I learned is that, you know, it's so important to keep your heart open and to keep your your mind open and, you know, you're going to let the good in with the bad when you do that. But you know what? There's so much to be grateful for and thankful for. And I think that the more that your heart's open, the more things that you're going to experience in life. And it's going to be so many new blessings and new people and new experiences that come into your zone. And it's, it's so great. Uh, one of my favorite things that I did this year was travel. And, you know, I hadn't traveled really in a long time. And typically when I've traveled, it's always been with other people. And I think that I learned so much about myself this year in traveling. And I, I, I did find myself, you know, I'm like, I want to do this. I want to be independent. I want to explore different parts of myself and learn new things about myself. So it was really important to incorporate, you know, that traveling aspect of it. And I think for a long time, it's been safer for me to, you know, invest in other people and, and invest in their things because it, it's safer. So instead of me stepping out of my comfort zone, you know, I would, you know, put everything I had into other people. And this year I changed that. I really invested in myself and it is such a blessing. And I stopped looking at life happening to me and I started to live life happening for me. And it really changed a lot of my perspective with everything that went around. You know, I... I would recommend to everybody to travel by yourself, like go on some trips by yourself to places that you've never been or, you know, that you know nobody and you don't know anything around. You know, I think that that's where the most growth happens because you only have yourself to depend on. You know, I think um, I know for myself when I'm constantly with people that I know, or, you know, traveling places that I've already been, it provides that kind of comfort. And you don't really step out of your comfort zone because you're surrounded by familiar things. And so when you keep yourself surrounded by familiar things, I don't think that you ever really get to experience like the parts of yourself that you may not open up to, you know, you can stay home by yourself, you know, where you live. And that's great too, you know, but I think that when you put yourself outside of your comfort zone by traveling to places that you've never been with nobody around, it opens up new, you know, new levels of yourself that you didn't know that were locked up in there. Uh, you know, um, at the beginning of the year, I took a, a trip to Vancouver Island and it was a trip I always wanted to do. And everything that could go wrong on that trip did but I still found myself enjoying it. And I still, I started looking at everything going, okay, well, this is an experience. You know, I got injured and it wasn't to the point of, you know, I, I have to go home or I'm really, really injured that I have to seek medical care. I probably should have, um, because I did injure myself in my shoulder, but I knew that I wasn't, you know, 
I was strong enough to withstand it for, you know, the time being that I was there because I didn't want to waste the time that I was there, um, you know, trying to, you know, just recuperate or whatever, because I had spent so much time saving to make this trip possible. And I went to beautiful locations and, you know, everyone was like, oh, it really doesn't snow too often. <laughs> and I got two good days and then it snowed the whole rest of the time. But it was beautiful. Like I got to, you know, experience beautiful, sunny, kind of warmer days on Vancouver Island. And then I got to see the beauty and splendor of it with the snow. And, you know, one of the things that I talked about was towards the end of my trip when I had gone down, I really wanted to go explore this place, go hike somewhere. And I drove the rental car down and I couldn't get it back up. <clears throat> and I remember like nobody would come down, like none of the, the, uh, you know, the people who come and pull your cars, the tow trucks and stuff, none of them would come down because they're like, we might get stuck too. And so I, I remember just falling to my knees and I remember being like, you know, God, what, what are you trying to teach me here? What do I need to learn? Like, um, you know, I just, I, this is my last day here. I'm stuck. Like, I, I don't know what to do. And I remember, you know, this wonderful couple came and it was such a blessing and they got my car up and it was, I got to meet new people and I got that faith that, you know, everything will work out. And it was a great trip for me to start with, to be like, okay, you know what, everything that I planned and every way that I planned this, you know, didn't work out, but it did work out. And it worked out for really important ways because it really showed me how strong I was. And that was something that I kind of had lacked. I mean, I knew I was like, okay, you know, I'm kind of independent and things like that, but I never realized how strong I was and how, you know, much I'd push myself to explore. If I got uncomfortable, okay, I'm going to go even further. I'm going to go out even more today and I'm going to check out new things because that's what I'm here for. You know, I, then I went to, um, Alberta this summer and I did get to meet up with, um, a friend of mine that I had chatted with from France and her and I, you know, we spent a day together, but the rest of that trip, I was by myself again. And it was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life. And I put no expectations on this trip. I was like, I'm just going to go and do things. Sure. I marked off things on my all trails app that I wanted to go and see and do. And I did those things, but I also left myself open to being like, okay, you know, I'm out today. And if I got in a spot that I really loved and I wanted to sit and I felt called to sit with myself, I did that. And I'm so grateful because that trip was the best trip I've ever taken in my life. And it was by myself. You know, I didn't know anybody in Alberta. Um, I, I wasn't familiar with all the surroundings. I'd visited uh, one other time, but I didn't explore in the ways that I did. And I got to learn new things and I got to see new things. And I remember a moment of being at Moraine Lake and, you know, I always used to be like, man, people, they alter these pictures because there is no place that is like that. Like that water is not that blue. And those mountain ranges are not like that. I'm like, I'm like, I think everything's kind of altered a little bit. I have to say, I remember getting there and I could feel like those like tingly, like, you know, you get goosebumps all over your skin. And I remember sitting out looking there at one point and I was like, this is heaven on earth. Like, this is the most beautiful spot I've ever seen with my own eyes. And I could just sit there and then, you know, I, I love, I went to Barrier Lake multiple times on that trip. Like I would just be like, okay, I want to go here tonight. And I'm like, okay, you know, it's not too, too far. So I'm going to go up to Canmore and I'm going to grab myself some of their natural spring water. And I'm going to go sit there for a while and journal. And I really got to open and explore parts of myself that I didn't even know that I wanted to, you know, and I found joy in, in that, in those peaceful moments of being by myself and being like, I can have fun and I can enjoy life and I can love things by myself and I can appreciate things just the same as 
with someone beside me because sure, I had a wonderful time with my friend and we got to see, you know, those beautiful things together too at, at in Alberta, but I didn't feel lonely. And that was one of the big distinguishers for me because when I was in Vancouver Island, because I was completely isolated and I had been injured and I was lonely, I felt lonely and I didn't feel lonely on this trip. Like I relished my own company and I was like, this is like the best thing that I've taught myself. And it was wonderful. You know, I went out to eat by myself. I went for walks. I went for hikes. I went on, you know, excursions by myself and I got to interact with wonderful people. And that trip for me was really a learning trip. And even, you know, I, I did, uh, you know, some, uh, some camping and RVing this summer and, you know, putting yourself into different places. And, um, you know, I realized my attachment to my cell phone. Um, I was, uh, kayaking on the Hudson river and I lost my phone and I had panic attacks about it because my whole life was there. And then, you know, I lost an earring, um, that I had that really had a lot of sentimental value to me. And I was so bothered by it. And I realized how much I'm attached to those things. And I was like, I need to take a step back. And each trip that I've taken and each, each thing that I've done, whether it's by myself or with friends or with family, I've gotten these new pieces of myself. And I think that it's so important to, you know, do these things and do them by yourself too, because, you know, you'll start to see I'm attached to this and I need to learn to let go. Okay, great. That was a lesson. I learned it. Now I don't have those attachments as much to things. I can go places and I don't care if my cell phone's on me and I can, you know, I don't wear like my sentimental jewelry. Like I was always like, oh, it's beautiful. Sure. It's a little flashy, but it's, I love it. And now I I just don't care about those things. And I realized it was all material things that I was attached to. And those aren't the things that I am interested anymore in life. And now like from, you know, from being by myself, for, for trips, camping, all that stuff. Like I realized that the biggest blessings in life, honestly, the biggest gifts that you can get, you know, it's to experience new things. It's to experience new parts of yourself. It's not about getting things and buying things and having material things and having the best of things. You know, um, I think that I learned a lot of like competing and comparing and my self-worth came from the things that I had. And honestly, I, you know, I work really hard and I know that I work really hard, but I'm, you know, I also budget things and I also do different things. So I was like, I'm not going to let that hinder me either. And I found as well too, how important it is. Like, you know, I think a lot of us just look at freedom as, you know, you know, in the U S you know, people fought and died for it. And we look at freedoms as, you know, a lot of the things that we do on a daily basis and stuff, but realistically freedom is, you know, there's so many aspects of it that are important, you know, freedom, financial freedom. I mean, that's huge. You know, if you can take care of yourself in that respect and don't, you know, rely on all credit cards and everything else that you need to do, you know, you can budget things and you don't have to go and spend lots of money on trips and all this stuff. You know, it, it doesn't require that. And I, I, that was something that I really learned and, you know, health freedom, you know, learning that I've been that way for a few years, you know, I've always really taken that initiative to eat healthy, to drink healthy, you know, make my own drinks, eat organic and drink organic where I can and do all of those things. Like, and I don't get sick as much and I don't feel unwell and I'm not at doctors all the time and I can usually heal myself up. And that's something that I think was, is valuable. I think there's so many different aspects of freedom and I learned so many of those while I was exploring on my own this year. And I think that it was such a wonderful gift that I gave to myself. And I, you know, I met new people and I 
did lots of things and I was, you know, I took, uh, I went to, um, you know, there was a, a book signing and I was like on a whim. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I'm going, you know, last spur of the moment type of thing. You know what? And I went for a day and it was so much travel <laughs> and I was so tired, but it was such a wonderful experience for me. And I learned a lot on that, that little brief trip as well about myself, you know? Um, so I really would recommend people to travel, put yourself out of your comfort zone, do things by yourself because you're going to explore and open new parts of yourself that maybe you didn't even realize that needed to be opened or even that existed. And that was, that's such a blessing. So I think that while it's great to, you know, bring other people along on your journey, I think it's really important that you also take time in your journey for just you, because those are the moments that you're going to learn the most about yourself. And that was one of my biggest takeaways this year. You know, another thing that I realized was that I still held on to kind of how people view me and how I wanted to be liked. And, you know, I had sacrificed a lot of myself by allowing other people to do things that would hurt me or make me not feel good. And I would stay in situations that I felt, you know, honestly, they were toxic. And this year, one of the things that I did that I'm so proud of myself for is that I confronted those parts and I had tough conversations, respectful, tough conversations with everybody this year. And I walked into it being like, I'm sacrificing parts of myself and my integrity by not speaking up. And by not, you know, addressing things where people have treated me in a certain way, but also looking at those things and not giving judgment to them. I had tough conversations with everybody, but I sat with myself sometimes for months before I even addressed those things because I wanted to make sure that when I address something that I'm not putting a judgment. Like I, I realized that, you know, I took offense to things that were done and said, but I never blamed other people. I, it was things about myself that needed to be worked on. And those people taught me valuable lessons. And you know what? Some of those relationships I don't have anymore. And some of the relationships I do. And I gained so much more self-respect for me by speaking up. And by saying, and by addressing these conversations and saying, Hey, I just want to talk about this and how this made me feel. And I just, I just want you to know that like, and I learned, you know, the ways that I won't let people treat me. And I learned the ways that, you know, I maybe thought something that was, they didn't think. And so there was miscommunication. And so there was those feelings of, you know, from my side, there was those feelings of, okay, well, what did I do wrong? Or what did it, you know, thinking that there was, you know, things that, you know, maybe had been done and hadn't been done. And it was so important. And I think that, you know, sometimes we put off difficult conversations because we want people to like us or we want people to think things of us. And I learned this year that sacrificing your integrity so that you'll be liked is not, not the way to go. And the people who can have those conversations with you and say, okay, well, you're looking at it from a different perspective and that's not what this was. Or to say, okay, I hear you. I validate what you're saying. Um, let's talk about this. And I think that those, those conversations and those type of people I realized, okay, those are the kind of people that I want to be around. But I also learned through doing this this year and by finally speaking up and talking about these things with people that I also, I, I realized how much I was not listening to my gut about things. And that was a huge lesson for me. And 
real, like really honestly, I, I now get physically sick if I keep myself in positions where I know something is toxic and I can't do it. You know, I, I used to kind of push that feeling down and be like, no, well, I don't, I don't want to speak up, but I don't want to say anything. And, you know, okay, someone did something and I don't like it, but I, I look at things differently now and I find myself, honestly, I'm a lot more centered than I used to be because I realized that I was putting a lot of judgment on things. So now I don't do that. Like I will sit with myself and I will replay conversations. I'm one of those people like, you know, I, it's, I, I don't know if anyone ever listened to the episode where I did with Graham uh, Wardle. And I had said on that episode, you know, that, um, like when I see, like when I'm processing things, it is like reading a book because I see the words I don't hear in my head. And so for me, like I will process these conversations and it's like reading a book and I can almost see in my own head where I've put a judgment on something. So I don't want to address things from a judgment perspective because that's ultimately an opinion perspective. Like I want to walk in and say, Hey, you know, uh, this is my perspective on this. There's no judgment from there, you know, and I think that by doing that now, I can see in my own self where I held so many judgments and I've learned now where I don't want to be judgmental and, you know, and it doesn't get anyone anywhere because you know what? It creates, I think when you're sitting and judge people, it's going to create that separation and, um, it's going to create unnecessary things and drama. And it's just not something that I find in my own life anymore that I want to partake in. So I'm very careful and I do center myself more in that respect because I realize where I was making judgments. And I also realize where I'm making judgments against myself and where I'm keeping myself in things, you know, sometimes, um, I've struggled with that and, you know, I've worked with Lena Alinda and she's incredible and she'll talk about like the ego all the time interfering and how we get in those victim stages. And I used to be someone who was like that. And I used to be someone who was into a lot of drama and oh, poor me. And, you know, with all the different circumstances, it was a lot to overcome. And there's still times where, you know, people will say things, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm only human sometimes. And, you know, I do try to understand or be understanding when people will say things to me that are hurtful or, you know, people have said really terrible things. And, there's times where I'll take, I have taken it personally, but I won't do that. I, I try not to do that. Now I try to be understanding. Okay. Where's this person coming from? Where is that perspective coming from? So I've really taken that initiative to learn from what's happening and to, to not react. I used to be someone who would react. I would blow up. I would, you know, I would create drama. I would do all that. I don't, I sit with things now and I try to understand other people's perspectives and I try to understand where people are coming from. And I also try to understand where I'm coming from. Am I coming from a place of, you know, oh, I'm a victim or am I being needy or, you know, like I, I learned all of that stuff from Lynette and I'm so grateful because it has changed who I am. And there's moments where I still mess up and I'm, you know, I'm sure that I, say things I shouldn't, or I, um, you know, I'll, I'll judge myself, but I really have put emphasis on not judging other people. Even, even this past year, that was, you know, one of my friends had told me, she's like, you've grown so much and I can see it. And it was honestly the best compliment that I've got ever gotten from anyone because I, you know, I want to be the best version of myself I can be. I want to be that person who's always looking at things from a positive perspective, but I want to be someone who can also 
take in perspective all around me and with no judgment. And so that's something that I worked really hard on this past year to, to do. And yeah, like I said, you know, I'll make mistakes and I'm sure I'll continue to do that. You know, no one's perfect. And, but I, I think it's important to have accountability for yourself and try to make sure that you work on those things because it'll change your life. And, you know, don't ignore yourself, you know, um, when you feel in your gut, something's not right or something's not working for you or, you know, remove yourself from those situations. It's really important because it's your body's way of telling you, Hey, you're not supposed to be here or, Hey, this isn't a situation you need to be in. And I learned a lot from that. And I, you know, trying to fight against that this year, there were situations where I did fight against that. And I made myself, I was physically sick for like a week or two. Um, and I knew I, I could feel it. I wasn't sleeping right. And I was like, it's because you're ignoring, you know, yourself, you're, you're not aligned. You're not in integrity. You know, you're not sleeping right. You know it, you know, it's time to take some accountability for that. And I almost punished myself for, you know, like knowing that I had gone out of alignment and I realized that, you know, that was a judgment on my part. So that was something really important for me this year to learn. And I wanted to, you know, share that with people for whatever it's worth. You know, I think that self-evaluating is really great. I think that sitting with yourself, meditating, you know, that's where you're going to get the answers. And I think trying to come from a, a heart centered place, you know, I, I've tried new things this year. You know, like I said, I, I've, I've traveled, I've explored, I've evaluated myself. I've also dug in and taken a chance on myself. And, you know, I spent four months of my life, um, this, you know, recently really digging in and I put all of my heart, all of my effort, all of my time, I put savings into wanting to start a business. And it was something that I felt so aligned in doing and everything, you know, some things didn't work out, but then when those things didn't work out, everything else actually came in and worked in perfectly. And then when I launched what I was doing or started to launch behind the scenes, what I was doing within a week, it fell apart and I was frustrated. I was really frustrated because I was like, things aren't working out with my podcast. Things aren't working out with this. You know, I, I've, you know, I had wanted to start a juice business and, uh, about a year ago and things just didn't align and it just didn't work and I could feel it and I knew it wasn't going to work. So I was like, okay, I'm not supposed to do this. So I learned so much and someone had reminded me about, you know, don't, you know, quit. Cause sometimes when things don't work out that, you know, then you start getting hard on yourself and I can't do anything right. And, you know, nothing works out. And I, you know, I felt that way you know, for a few minutes on that. And then I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Like after I reflected on that, I was like, you learn so much. Like I learned so much. Sure. I lost stuff. I lost money. I lost different things in that respect, but I also gained a lot. I learned new things. You know, I always tell people I strive to learn something new every day. And I did for four months, every day I learned something new and, you know, there wasn't a lot of, um, ways for me to, um, for what I was working on, there wasn't a lot of people who were willing to help out and give information, you know, for what I wanted to do. And so I researched and I'm not into AI, so I didn't use any like the AI stuff, none of the chat GPT, nothing like I researched everything. I went online. I went in person. 
I went to libraries. Like I learned new things about, you know, like uh, contracts and about uh, legal stuff, about um, rentals, insurance. Like I learned so much and I'm so grateful for that because I don't, I don't know what my next venue is. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I still am trying. I'm still being creative. You know, I still play with things that come through my mind and say, okay, try this. And honestly, I think even when you sit with yourself and something feels so right, go for it, try it. If it doesn't work out, you're not a failure. You know, you, you put, if you put your whole self and your whole heart into it, and it's something that you're so passionate about, you know, it doesn't always work out. And I think that that's important to remember because I think people feel like, or I felt like, well, if everything's working out and everything's aligning the way it should be, and it feels right inside, then this is going to work. This is going to be great. And everyone's going to do this and, and people are going to believe in me. And, you know, and then when those things fall apart, it's very easy to go into a place, you know, like at first I was like, well, nothing seems to work out for me. And, you know, no one's willing to believe in me and take a chance and, and do this. And then I was like, that's victim. <laughs> and that's me putting my efforts and that control outside of myself. And so I turned that perspective around and I'm like, you believed in you. You took that chance. You invested in you. And I think that that's one of the most important things that I did this year. And even though it didn't work out, it's great. I learned so much. I learned so, so much from this. And it's something that I can hopefully take with me to whatever comes next. And I'm not someone who's just going to sit around and be like, okay, what's, what's coming next? You know, I constantly have ideas going through and I see things and I, uh, you know, I work on different things. And I think that, you know, you can't, I, I know for me, I know when something's right, the universe is going to work in my favor to make that when it's the, when it's the right time, when it's the right project, when it's the right thing. And, you know, I realized because I was trying to put too much of myself into different projects, maybe that's why things didn't work out for me. And, you know, I, I'm putting more of my energy back into this podcast because I, I created this from a really heart centered place and it meant a lot to me. And I feel that it's important to share. And I always said, you know, I don't care if it's only one person who listens. If, it, if they can get something out of this, that's what's important. So I want to go back to that. And there's going to be guests that come on that are wonderful. And there's going to be episodes with just me. And I'm good with that. I I feel like there's so much still to offer and to share with the world. And I hope that people will take the opportunities that, that are given to them. Don't sit and wait for life to happen for you because it's not going to, you know, I think that that's one of the biggest things go out there. You need to put yourself out there. You need to take chances, whether it's on yourself or it's, you know, someone else taking a chance on you and, you know, go out and do those things. Try different things. Try tons of different things. Because when you learn all that stuff, like I'm a firm believer that everything that I learned and that I took the time and energy and money to put into, I know that that'll work for me down the road when it's supposed to, when it's supposed to work out. But I'm not going to sit home and wait for life to happen. I'm going to go out and I'm going to live life because that is where things will happen for you. You can't sit at home and manifest and do nothing because that's not going to work. I've tried it. Trust me. You know, it just doesn't happen. I find that the things that happen in life, the inspiration that I have, those type of things. Sure. I get a lot of inspiration from other people and I try to always be kind and 
be genuine and be caring for other people and to invest in them too, because that's important too. It's not just about you. Everything is collectively, you know, that's what makes this world a better place. We all collectively support each other. And that's where I've found my ideas. That's where I've found inspiration. That's where I've gotten ideas to try being out living, going, I like this. This is great. I want to try this. I want to try something like this, but I want my own spin on this, you know, and that's important. Go out every day and live your life and the things that are meant for you, you're going to find them. Well, that's all that I have to share for this episode. And I, uh, I will be back in the new year with new episodes. I've got some, um, great guests I'm working on. So I hope that you guys will tune in. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season. Do stuff for yourself. Take care of yourself. Self-love is so important. You know, don't forget about that this, this time of year when it gets so busy and everyone's so busy worrying about other things. And remember, the most important gifts are not material. It's time. It's being around people. And it's giving your energy, love, and kindness. Those are the greatest gifts that you can give to people this time of year. I hope you guys all have a great one. Thank you so much for tuning in.